Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Visit Joan, and prep week is already kicking my butt, guys. Like, honestly, like, this was supposed to be one of those videos where I, I'm doing this new thing where, you know, I build the structure of the house and then I finish it off camera and then do a house tour because I feel like it would get videos done faster or just be easier or whatever. Well, genius me went into autopilot and decided just. I just randomly started filming and it took me an hour to realize, wait a minute, I'm not supposed to be filming this. It's Sunday, freaking Sunday, and I'm already losing my mind. Oh my goodness, we, we got another four days to go. If I make it to Friday without losing my sanity, it will be a miracle, let me tell you. But you guys didn't click on this video to hear me complain, so I'm going to stop doing this now, and I'm going to tell you what the heck I'm doing, because you've probably been wondering, what, what, Joan, what, what are you actually doing? So I am building a house for the Cutman family that was a family I had in my Sims 2 Appleton series before my computer crashed and burned, so a lot of you probably aren't really aware of that, but I decided, you know what, they were kind of a big, fun family. Why not actually make them a house in The Sims 4 and make them in The Sims 4? And then, you know, like, you know, I've already discussed them in detail on another video, so if you have not checked that out, which most of you probably have because, like, only two people were watching my channel at the time. But um, if you haven't checked that out, I would suggest you go do that because I'm not going to repeat myself. But um, anyway, this house is a little bit different from the ones I normally do just because the majority of the family are actually guys and that's a little bit unusual for me. Like I almost never have that, but that was not planned. Um, that was just, you know, I started with three um, Sims back in The Sims 2 and I kind of had them have two babies off camera. At least I think that's what happened. I don't remember. I don't have any photos or anything. All of that got lost when my computer crashed and burned. But um, the the other than the mom and the toddler, that's it. And they do have an older sister, Mallory, but she has gotten married and moved out. And I've actually already done her apartment at some point that will be up on the channel. I don't know if that will be this year or not because I have no idea. I did plan everything out, but of course plans change because of this whole university thing. And oh my goodness, can, can we just talk about that for a second? Like, you know, I never thought I'd be this excited for university. I mean, I, I, for someone who didn't really necessarily want that pack in the first place, like... I mean, I understand why all of you wanted university, but for me, it's just a kind of a little depressing, but it, 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 it is what it is. But um, I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. I have some ideas now, and well, by the time you're seeing this video, it'll have been out for a little bit, but you know what? I am doing this now during prep week because I actually, you know, figured um, I need to get videos out really fast once university does come out to the public. And I can just use this week to furnish everything except for the stuff I wanted to use from university. And then I could, on the day, on the release date, I could finish that, throw these videos together and throw them out left and right. Well, I'm not going to do that, but you guys, you guys know what I mean. But, um, anyway, as for the, um, footage that I copied, not I copied, that I got that was extra, I'm just gonna basically like tack that on to the end. I'm not wasting good footage, guys. But anyway, um, th this house is a pretty minor house. I did find it on Pinterest. I did, um, I know I, I never really looked at Pinterest. Like there are a lot of people that do that. I've never been one to do that, but I'm, for some reason I'm doing that now. And I'm like, oh, this looks like a fun house to build. So I kind of decided to build it. And I'm really always just kind of amazed that these people that do like one, two bedroom builds, like wh wh where do you put the kids? Like, I don't understand. Like, I really don't have that many families without kids just because I play with families and I haven't played the game in them. Well, I mean, I did recently, but, you know, I haven't, you know, but actually just playing a lot lately. But you you guys know what I mean. So right now I am screwing around with the windows. Oh, my goodness. I, I don't even remember. I, apparently I did this on Halloween. I don't know. It was a really crummy Halloween this year. It was, like, blowing and um, the wind was blowing and it was like snowing. And we got like, I don't know, like five groups of trick-or-treaters. I don't even know, but we have a lot of leftover candy and I don't even know where that is because my mom hid it because she wants us to, because we don't, we didn't need to get that. But um, I, I would like some M&Ms, I'm not gonna lie. But um, anyway, you guys, 
my goodness, nobody told me how annoying this weight was. I mean, I knew the last week was always the hardest, but when Island Living came out, you know, I had like 20 subs. Now that I have like almost 100 subs, I actually can feel the fact that my views are actually just starting to go down because nobody wants to watch my stuff. They all want to watch University, and it is annoying. Oh my goodness. But um, we are going to begin the tour in about, I don't know, maybe like five seconds or so. Actually, it was more like 15, but anyway, you guys, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. We're going to start the tour now. Hello, everybody. It is me about a week and a half later, and I have actually finished this house. So I'm going to be, um, what we call it, touring it for you guys. And I kind of had a build burnout before the release of University. Like, I just had no motivation to build anything at all. But I, like, literally had to get stuff done, and it was just, like, really annoying. And But I did get significant progress done on quite a few videos, so I am almost done for the year. Just a few more to go. And so with that, we're going to walk into this house. And the first thing we see is like, it's pretty much an open plan almost, except for the dining room. But here's the little entryway. You can see we have, I do have some pictures in, but I decided I didn't want to wait forever to put, you know, the pictures in just because I didn't want to deal with it. And because I just wanted to get this done because I've got another video that's done and ready to go. That's, you know, already that's depending on this thing. So, but anyway, here is the entryway. There's the area with the stairs. We will take a better look in depth in that. And what am I saying? Oh my goodness. I'm losing my mind and it's only 1130. Okay. But anyway, here we have the entryway. We have a little, um, well, I mean, you can see what it is, so I don't need to tell you, but over here is the, um, living room. And I do have like the family computer desk area. And I did use the new teacher desk because, well, Henry Cupman is a teacher. So I figured, you know, that would be appropriate. And the funny thing is he actually got fired. Well, when, when I had the chance card, I said he would be demoted, but he was already in the beginning track. And apparently we're going through the dining room here. But um, he got demoted, which means he got fired. But he was able to basically, like, re-get the same job at the exact same place. So it's like... Ha ha, I just gained the system. But then we got Mallory here. She doesn't live here. She's married and lives in an apartment in San Mishino. But there she is with her little sister, Evelyn. And we have a little, you know, TV area with the um little nook. And it was really hard to decide, I think, which sofas I was going to put in there, actually. But I wanted to match the accent walls. And I finally figured out how to do it. So... We got all this other stuff going on. I think this is the um, medium wall height because, well, I needed it to do what I wanted to do with the um, stairs. But anyway, you can see I'm going to um, move over here in a second so you can actually see it from the other side. But, um, you know, we go in, there's a clock, there's a game system, there's, you know, just a bunch of other stuff that you could see. And here is the um, living area, the living room from, oh, wow, okay. Um, the other side, you can see that we have a rug inside a rug, which, you know, I kind of have wanted the um, smaller rug there, but I didn't, I just wanted the rug to like cover like the whole thing and it just didn't look right with just the smaller rug there. So I just decided, okay, I'm going to put a rug on a rug here and okay. Yeah, that was pretty much my thought process through that. Now we're going to head on over. No, we're not. We're going to um look and look at this fireplace over here with just some stuff and there's the bookshelf and wow what am I even doing okay so there's like a little recreational area with a foosball table and a little side area and okay okay this kitchen it was inspired by the kitchen of Becky Higgins and she basically runs a company called Becky Higgins LLC it does this product this little system called Project Life, which is a scrapbooking system that's basically designed for people who don't have time to go in all the intensive details of scrapbooking. And basically what it is, is you just slip the photos in the pockets and then you find cards to go with it. Some of them are just cute little pictures or like little um like sayings, like be the reason someone smiles today, stuff like that. And then other ones are like, you know, just like um cards you can write on. So you can like say like tell the stories behind the photos and stuff like that it's really cool i've been using it for like five years now and although i haven't done it lately 
but I still follow her on Instagram and she recently moved with her husband of 20 some years and their three children into a new house. They built this house from scratch and she posted a picture of the kitchen on Instagram and I'm not gonna show it here because I did not get permission to do that. But anyway, I was pretty much inspired by it. So I basically created a kitchen that kind of looks like this. Now, um, whatchamacallit. It's not exactly the same because there is no, basically, the cabinets were more of a teal color and that option is available in The Sims because, you know, we have certain swatches that we are limited to. So I went with blue instead, but I did put the booth there. I did have the island. Basically, all the other stuff like the fridge and the microwave and all of that is pretty much the same. And so basically, you know, if you if you are if you have any interest in scrapbooking at all, I would highly recommend checking her account out. It's Becky Higgins LLC, and then she has one for her house called Higgins Home. And she pretty much it's not just about scrapbooking. She talks about everything from just tips and tricks. Like she talked about how maternity jeans actually fit her body type. That was just like a neat tip. How you can put um basically just they share they often share some of their favorite things on there. So so it's like from everything from scrapbooking to neat little tips to faith. Although she doesn't really isn't really, you know, in your face about faith. It's more she more talks about, you know, what her faith means to her. And that's really how I feel faith is supposed to be. It's something really personal. You have faith because of things that happen to you in your personal beliefs. So yeah, if you have any interest in scrapbooking at all, I would definitely recommend checking her out. But um, anyway, here we go into the dining room. And this dining room is an interesting story because I wanted to do the table coming out from the cabinet thing. I tried that in the um, Steer family house a couple months ago, and I liked the way it looked, but I realized with two kids in high chairs, that would not be all that practical. So I decided to put it in this house, but in this house, it wasn't exactly all that practical either because there wasn't enough space. So what I did is I put, um, what we call it? I put two tables, smaller tables, like kind of like on the side to make like a bigger table. And that ended up working really well. And I'm actually really proud of this dining room because I normally don't do neutral color schemes at all because I just don't like them all that much. But I think this turned out really well. And you can see um, the little shelves here. See, this is before the red shelf broke, before, you know, the update, but we got a fish tank here. We got, you know, just little um, stuff and I, I don't even know. I really like these curtains. They just add a touch of color to the room. And anywhere we are leaving the dining room now, you can see there's a piano. Janelle is a musician, so there's a lot of musician stuff in here. And we're gonna go in here and we're going to find, oh look, it's a bathroom. Wait, am I sure this is the medium wall height? Because that looks pretty darn tall. But um, anyway, this is, it, it's just the bathroom. There's a little backsplash behind the mirror and the sinks. But that's pretty much it. It's really just a half bathroom. There's nothing special about this bathroom at all. Although now I realize I probably should have put a little potty seat in here, but oh well, I can do that later. Anyway, there's the door that goes to the garage, which we won't be looking at in this tour because it's just a garage with a car. But anyway, in here is the master suite. And I did kind of base this off of the one I did in Sims 2 because it was kind of blue, but I decided to go with a lighter blue here. And here is basically Henry's desk for him doing his work. There's his closet. And, you know, like I said, he's a teacher, so he has all these like teaching awards and these um, diploma hats, whatever they're called, flying around. And let's see, what else can I say? And as you can see here, I did use some stuff that came with the university pack. You can see that the chairs, I think the desk maybe, or I, I don't even remember. But um, I know the desk chair and the vanity table chair came with the pack. And the bed came with university as well. So I decided I really wanted to just use this new bed. And so I kind of saved doing the master suite until the university came out. But you can see there's university stuff all over the place. And you can see, you know, Janelle's musical talents. That's where Mallory gets it from. But there are musical instruments all over here. And in here is the ensuite bathroom. And whoa, what the heck happened to the lighting? It just seems really dim in here. But um, yeah, it's a pretty, there's pretty much a lot of junk lying around. But what well, bathroom doesn't have that? Unless you're like a complete and total neat freak. But anyway, so here's basically, you know, a view of the bathroom. There's a couple cabinets. There's a cabinet mirror. There's a toilet. And then there's a little um, shower tub combo that's basically like caught in through the, um, 
it's in like in a little alcove where the closet is and here is a walk-in closet this is kind of like the hers closet they have like his and hers so um yeah whoa that's pretty high up but um am i sure i'm at sim height here but yeah we have clothing in here and um well yeah what else would be in a closet but yeah that's the master suite we've explored the whole entire thing now so we are going to go back and um Go back through the, um, oh boy, you know what? I probably shouldn't, I probably should just quit talking right now because I have no idea apparently what I am doing. But now we're going to take a closer look at the little room with the stairs and you can see we have, um, I really wanted that three-way stairway and there's a little plant and an easel. And I really love how this turned out because I was deciding between, you know, the island, one of the island living couches and that one. And I just decided, you know what, I can put that one there and then put the island living couches upstairs, which I actually did. Now, I'm going to try to go up these stairs, but I have really navigated, um, whatchamacallit, um, the customizable stairs before. So this is going to be interesting. I'm probably going to screw up a couple of times, but here we are on the second floor landing. And the landing does kind of have like, well, it's not really two parts it's like landing in the hall and you can see there's just a bunch of stuff just like strewn around and you know there's flowers the exact same one that's in the living room I did not notice that but there's your island living couch there's your university rug and in here we have a little recreational area with don't wake the llama chest dartboard and just some you know areas to sit in some posters just some you know just recreational things for the family to enjoy and out here we do have a deck that, you know, here's a little seating area. Oh, here's a little seating area. I really love those, the colors of those seats. Maybe not the black outline of it, but the pillows I really like. And we also have a ping pong table out here. And well, I guess you wouldn't have to worry about the ball breaking anything in the house when you have the ping pong table outside. And here we have like a little fire pit. And as you can see in there, I didn't go in the backyard because it's not really all that much to show off, but there is a swing set and a little slide. But um, there's also a basketball hoop like directly under us, but well, directly under us is the garage, but there's also a basketball hoop and um, what am I doing? Oh yeah, here are some um, wind chimes. But then we're gonna go back in here. We're going to, this is where all the children's bedrooms are. And here's kind of like the hallway, the little entryway in the hallway. There's Whiskers. Where is Whiskers? Oh, he's right there. He's just doing anything cute. Okay, that, that's that's kind of... No. But as you can see, he has been on some adventures. I don't know how, but okay, whatever, you know. And, and there is another blue accent wall there with just a couch. And what I tried to do is I tried to put all the activities that everyone could enjoy with in this area. So we have the little um building block table. And we're going to go in here. And this is basically a boy's bathroom. Pretty much for the guys of the house. And, well, that's mostly everybody in the house. But, yeah, so here we have a shower tub combo. And I don't even know why I'm saying all this. You guys can see this. But, you know, it's pretty simple. It's just, it's a bathroom. There's nothing fancy about the bathroom. But we're going to go out here. And because we do have a Jack and Jill bathroom in there, we are going to go through the, um... This bedroom here first and then go through the bathroom and then we're going to come out at the end of the hall. So in here is kind of a modern bedroom, but this is Michael's bedroom and he's still here. He actually did apply to university, but he kind of wants to go to Foxbury because he's kind of interested in robotics, but he didn't get into any really robotic degree like programs there. And here he is. He's trying to work on a, um, a little hovercopter thingy, but he, um, he can't do it because, well, that keeps happening. Yeah, he just keeps getting electrocuted and can't get any work done. So we're going to pause this right now before anything else happens. And we're just going to take another look around the room. You know, there's there's his gaming setup with his little, um, you know, there's a TV up there or like could be used as a second monitor. But we got Lindsay and the gaming system and everything. He has a little power indoors chair or whatever that's called and yeah so I don't know what Michael's gonna do for college I probably should just cheat him the degree because you know I mean I already sent him to college in the sims too so it seems kind of redundant to do that but um 
yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to figure something out. But anyway, in here is the girls' bathroom, and that's because you, this used to be, you know, the bathroom Mallory used, and now the only girl child in the house is a toddler. So it's kind of like, whatever, Michael probably just doesn't go in here and then goes into the, um, whatchamacallit, the one that was in the, um, oh, wow, okay, I messed that up, okay! Probably just goes into the boys' bathroom across the hall, like, no one's forcing him to go in this pink bathroom. But, um, yeah, this is the girls' bathroom. And, you know, we can see we, I did fancy stuff with the cabinets, which took a while. And, once again, before red shelf broke, and wow, I can't work the camera today, apparently. But, um, we have all these fancy lights here. It's really pretty. I like how this turned out. I really like how, you know, innovative and creative this is. Because, you know, I'm always watching people on YouTube do these really crazy things with the objects that I've never even thought of doing before. There's a little potty. And now we're going to go into Evelyn's room, and I think this is the room that Mal that Mallory used to use when she was gone. That is the most complicated one of those things I've done yet, and I'm really proud of myself for having done it. I really like putting those things in toddlers' rooms, just because, you know, it, it just it's something you would put in a kid's room, and it's really cute. And I love seeing the little hamsters, you know, in their little habitat-like thing. And, you know, I mean, a lot of people don't really find a lot of good use for that My First Pet stuff. But it works really well in kids' rooms. Maybe not every single kids' room, but j just a lot of... But I have constantly used that stuff in kids' rooms. So, um, yeah, here we go. There's the little height chart. And here's the place where all the toys are, except sim my sims keep putting them away, which is really kind of annoying. But, um, yeah, we have just a bunch of toddler stuff over here and a giraffe. There's a little dollhouse that they can play with. And I did, I put the dollhouse in Weber's room, and then I put it in the middle, and then I figured, you know what, Evelyn might be the only one that plays with it. I don't know, I don't think, I don't know if whether Weber would play with a dollhouse. Maybe he would, but nothing wrong with boys playing with dolls, is there? But anyway, here is what I actually did for Weber's room. And Weber is like a sports freak. More of a sports freak than Randy, but, you know, that's not the point. So I just decked his room out. Everything was sports, the walls, the posters, Got a little void critter over there, but you can see he has, you know, little basketballs here and just, just paraphernalia of that level. And I did decide to put them in scouts, although I haven't actually done that in the game yet. I don't know if I will, but let's just pretend that it is and it's really a thing. And there should be a scout manual there. I don't know what happened to that, if he put it away or something. But anyway, yeah, there's his desk and his little dresser and, um... There's, you know, this room was like long and thin and I really wanted it to be the toddler's room, but then it wouldn't have been next to the pink bathroom. So you have two boys' rooms adjoining the pink bathroom and I'm just like, that would be all realistic. Although boys can like pink, but I don't think these boys like pink. So, you know what? Now we're going to head to the last room in the house that we haven't looked yet. Except for the fact that I totally forgot to do the laundry room. So here it is. This is Eric's room and you can see he has a lot of stuff. He collects porta pals. And he has, you know, just, just a bunch of paraphernalia everywhere. And he has his own little, um, whoa. Okay, he has his desk, his schoolwork, his laptop. His, like, little, you can see there's a TV in that dresser there. And he has, you know, he has a gaming system, like, on the, um, that was a cute way to do it, actually. And, yes, there is his dresser. It does have a TV in it, like I said before. And, yes, the TV is floating on the little thing, but... Red shelf broke, so I had to resort to using the control 9 keys, and that isn't all that reliable, as you can plainly see. There's his bed. There's some posters. You know, if we go up here, and I think we do. Actually, I know we do, because I just filmed this this morning. So, yeah, so we're going to go up here, and we're going to see, you know, all of his little, um, basically, like, bulletin board stuff to keep track of his stuff. And over here, you can see that he is, like, a gaming YouTuber, or something like that. I figured that would be a good thing to do because I haven't done a room for one of those yet, but he has all the paraphernalia here. He has signed gaming posters. He has, you know, his um, video computer, which is different from a schoolwork computer because that's just a laptop. And trust me, I've made videos on a laptop or at least recorded on a laptop. It's not optimal, but um, you know what? That's it. So anyway, that's it. That's the whole house. Apparently I stared at the laundry room door and I didn't... Ooh, Whiskers still isn't doing anything cute. Okay. And apparently I completely spaced on showing that room to you because, well, I have absolutely no idea. But anyway, we're gonna 
No, we're not going to do that. We're going to um, go through here and at least check out the back patio because um, I totally and completely forgot, or not forgot, just didn't show that to you, but it isn't really anything special. And I'm sorry about, you know, the camera jumping around, but OCD strikes again. And I've never really had a problem with that while recording a house tour, so I don't know what the heck is going on. But anyway, here is the back patio with the, oh, Henry left his homework for grading here. That That's great. And there's, you know... There's a grill over there and there's um just just the table where the family could sit and eat and that's pretty much it guys. That's the house. But here are some pictures of the laundry room that I totally forgot to show you for some reason even though the door to it was right in front of my face for like two seconds. But here it is. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you left a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and check me out on social media. I'm at Instagram at VisitJoan and on Twitter at VisitJoanVideos. And I'm going to leave you guys now, but I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye!